Hello and welcome to my coding session of the Bucket Manager, which is a Java JavaFX userful application for managing XML files. So let me quickly show what is going to be done next. Now I have here this uh, relations between classes. I have successfully completed my bucket channel list and I need to do the builder classes in order to be able to build this uh, channel list and I need to val validate the data during all of this process so let me just quickly I'm here with my specification document and now I need to switch back to the Eclipse and now what I need to do to proceed what I need to do to proceed so basically I have my set TV bokeh channel set bokeh TV channel which need to be validated at some point and created and now I just need to do following I need to write a test it will be happens is this is this builder tests so let me just create here Jenny test case and here I need to create a class with the name of set and now I just need to use things like I don't know um, so I'm creating a builder for the for the set bucket TV channel set TV bucket CTV bucket uh, channel builder test CTV bucket add channel builder test and now I need to set up the object and I can use the builder from from this class. So basically I'm doing things like this. And now I need to write some test. And I just need to write that uh, check if uh, check if a uh, set TV set TV book you at channel builder is not null. some basic test and I just need to copy insert not now and okay so I'm testing so I'm testing that I can create this builder object and I'm doing this command insert not now and now I need to declare it so let me just do it here formatted the code and I will call it uh, check if set tv set tv book a channel builder So 
Set TV Bokeh Channel Builder. And I will just write here Set TV Channel Builder. And now I need to initialize it. And now I need to write here new, new, and then the class name. And sh this should be enough. So let me just put it here, put it here. Now I need to create this class in my package which has a, a name of builder. So I'm actually structuring my project so that you can see uh, that the builders are in the different package. So now I have created the class set TV bouquet channel builder. This class actually verifies the values and creates a, a set TV bokeh at TV a set TV bokeh at channel this is actually the goal of the builder and now let me just do it like this save it and run it Ctrl shift T yeah so I have created this class well now what is on the on the list so basically here I'm here I have an example of another class and here I need to work with start to work with my JDOM document okay so basically Basically, I need to create to, to write a, a helper a helper class into my unit tests. This helper class will will read actually it read an XML and create JDOM document with now I need to think about uh, this channel info yeah it will create create XML and create JDOM with book at channel info so I need basically to do the same stuff but with different with different kind of file TV channel info and this is for me like prototype like throwaway class And let me just do it in the in the following. Let me just close all of the st another stuff. And I'm, I will use this class uh, to to read an XML, which you which you will see right now. And it will read only one channel here and basically provides me a JDOM element which consists the data about only the data only about one channel because my builder creates only one channel all right so let's do this what i need to do i need actually to get hold of a uh, element 
let me just open let me just open this is the wrong file basically it's the same type of util here I have to work with this with this file so I will be basically copying the stuff but as I said earlier such classes are not included in my production in my production code is just just uh, uh, prototype for the pro prototyping purposes actually to uh, to be able to run my tests it's needed to be some sort of a mockup object now I need just to have my constructor write my constructor public and then here Now I need to initialize here this variable. And uh, basically I don't need services but I need rather a book s. Where is my refactor source refactor rename? Yes, save it. So I have here my path set up. Now the next move will be read and set up JDOM document. This is basically the same type of stuff. Maybe I can even write it better I mean some sort of an abstract class which uh, do, does not depends on the values but uh, for the purposes of uh, uh, like I will say to, to save me the time I create such tra tra uh, throw away classes and let's do let's do this I copy this method, copy it to this class, and here you see I have set set JDOM document to write. Ah, okay, so it's all right. I can I can re reuse this code. I just need to get it through. I need to create my getter and setter. And refactor some stuff. Let, let me just pause to save quickly your time. Okay, okay, and uh, I refactor this class to suit my needs. Now let me just get through. So first, I have here, I have here read and set up JDOM document. Just read my XML file, which is buckets XML, and create from this file appropriate JDOM document. So check up the XML reader status it checks that the JDOM document was set up and if this is so then then it returns true uh, 
and this is how I know that a, a, a JDOM document of JDOM document was set up. Now next, in the meta tree, JDOM document and in create set TV channels element list. I'm getting all buckets, all buckets, bucket. All, all, I will say all buckets from my buckets XML. And then I'm just iterating over it because I I just need to work with only one bucket. So I'm calling iterating over first level XML and looking up the bucket. Here I'm iterating over the buckets, uh, getting one of the buckets. I decided to get German channels and. I getting one bucket back expected sat element is actually bad bad um, let me just write here refactory name I will just write expected bucket element bucket bucket element so, so this is basically what I'm returning after this element and then I I get set up this uh, variable expected bucket element and then I just looking up a special bucket TV channels so you know bucket one bucket have many ch channels this is what I'm actually doing after calling iterating over first level method I looking up a special bucket TV, TV channel and this is pretty simple I get the bucket element and from there I just getting his children so I mean the channels and returning it and this is how I actually obtain an access to the list of the channels yeah Working with XML, some, some. I mean, the code, the code is pretty obvious, but it do, I have took some time to actually to change it how I expect it to work. So let me just write a test. Now I need, I have my class test TV channels builder. No, it's it's uh, it's uh, not. I mean, I, I need to work with my test. So here's my test. And what I need to do, I need basically. So here, I need to write it as the same, almost almost the same code. Um, I need to work with class bucket. No, I need to work with set bucket TV channel class. This is what I need to work list of set TV set TV bucket channels. Okay, add channels. Can it resolve to the type? I need to add an S. Did I misspell it? Bucket channels no. I need to have set bucket TV. Ah, okay. So I have problem with this. Wait a second. This is not a problem. This is actually what I need to to do to work with. I need just to write a package 
import import uh, what I have here model and then wait a second models and here I need set bucket TV channel yeah now I need try and catch because I need to catch it Here I need basically to write a new, let me just think, this is actually goes, uh, okay, so I need basically just to concentrate on stuff. Yeah. Here I need to declare it. Let me just write it down here. So I have a uh, getting the list of elements. List of elements which are builder set TV channel list. But in my case, I have here set TV channel bucket at bucket at list. And this is what I get. And now I need to add my JDOM and YouTube list. I just forgot to, I just deleted. So now I have my method here. And here basically. What I'm trying to do, need to, this needs to be a public, public void, and here I need just to do following. This is my set TV channel builder test. So basically I need just to repeat my code Ok I'm back yeah. I'm pretty pretty at the end of my power but I'm getting through. Yahoo! And let me just think what I need to do. I need to create this help object in my test. Spine file very very exciting part. So let me just quickly go to my builder test. Here I am having my helper object this helper object get um, need to initialize in order to be able to use methods like this and I need to import now I need just to create this object And basically, from this point, I need to to do almost the same stuff. But remember, I need to validate the data. So, in order to pass this test, I need to validate. I need to write some valid validations. 
but I won't. Uh, I would now write the stuff which I need to test out, write my failing test. And let me just quickly do such comments. Now, helper object read and set up JDOM document from the class read XML and create JDOM with Bok TV channel list. Right, once and then I need to assign. I have a list of satellite TV channels. So basically. I have here list of set bokeh TV channel set bokeh TV channel list of set I just write here bokeh at TV channels. Now let me just compare with my test. You see here I have a set TV channel list. But this is actually a list of elements. So I need to use the same syntax. This is my, this is my, I like, actually this is like my final result. And here I just need to call So this is a, a list of elements which I'm getting when I call my helper object and helper object method read JDOM document and create third level element list. Well in my case it, it has another name. This is a, uh, this is a proper name. And just me. So I'm reading JDOM document, creating set TV channels element list. After doing that, I have my list of elements, which which is which you can just imagine this is like like this list. I have a channel list. And now I need to do following. I need to I need to write a failing test and and then I need to call call my object not this object but rather builder object and tell him Yeah, like like this. So I, gi I give a comma build list of bucky at sat TV channels, and here I just need to pass him uh, a list of elements. Yeah. So I have written my failing test. Yeah, you see, it, it fails. So, now, question arises, what should I do? Because I need to check the values. I need to check my, my values before I create a sub-bucket sub channel list. So, this actually, I have my model name set boki at tv channel but this is actually 
this is actually okay said my builder creates a channel set tv bucket add channels builder so you see this is my actually this builder should create set tv bucket channel this is a, this is a builder of my channels of the satellite of the buckets it builds <laughs> let me just repeat it last time uh, it creates a list of channels of my bucket oh, this is better now I need to vali validate so basically I need to open my set book ATV channel here and look up some values which I need for validation and yeah this will be nice so continue and now I need to create this method in my in my class which is set TV channel set TV channel this is actually wrong uh, name set TV channel bucky ad builder because I have special builder for my bucket channel set TV channel book you at builder and continue now it runs now I need to check some stuff I think I spot some trouble with my set TV I need to run my let me just think I have only one test where I have problem but I need to run test to test my model test set TV bokeh test this was I need to test okay it's pass and my set TV channel test it should pass too Yep, it, 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 it works too. So basically, I need to work out with my CTV channel builder, bucket builder. And now I need to create this method. Alright, so... I'm passing to this method a set of element. I mean the list of elements of set TV channels. It's a list of elements which holds this this data. And but before I can actually build a list of set bucket TV channels, I need to to be able to verify some data and let's just look it up what we need to verify so basically here is my class set bucky s tv channel all right so what should i need to verify do i need to verify service id i don't think so the service ID is unique and okay and what about channel name I don't need to verify my channel name set uh, do uh, I mean do do <laughs> you have my Simpson so channel name I need to verify because I have in my keys in my bucket some keys where you will probably see now no name I have so I need to very to check my name and let's just let's just write here a test which 
I'm actually thinking should I write a private method and then I don't need to write a test for it or I, or I write public method to be able to verify the name verify the name of my channel let me just think I think I need uh, I need actually uh, some sort of a helper object. This helper object. Do I have some util utils here in my? Uh, so I have only one util until now. But I need actually a utility class which do all all repeating actions like verify so basically it's very good that I'm thinking about because what I need to do I have thinking about like I'm call some <coughs> class object like verify verify data <clears throat> and verify data will have some methods like um, I don't know validate validate bucky add name for example and then later I can throw to this verify data class um, I will just call it verify sat data Start data validate bucket name and so on and so on and so on and my builder object will just will each if each time when object is created it will actually call my object create object verify sat data calls on this object's method validate bucket name and this will be pretty pretty simple so basically I am discovered that I need to write another class so let me just save it here so I know I have here I know I have here failing case but I know that when I when I start to write my bucket builder I need to repeat some code and, and that's like the idea of repeating my code so let me just uh, create new test. So model test, model test, test util. And here I just need to write a test. So I need to write a gunit test to actually I need to test some stuff. So what I need to test? I'm testing validate validate set data test. So and it goes like with all of my setups. I have here I think before each, before each, maybe let me just copy some stuff like that. Before each, and here I am setting up the object, and then I have simple test checking if the object is not null. So like like this start not now and then I write here check if validate sat data not 
now and I need to create such class uh, validate util object now I need to be make sure that I can create it and I check if that is not null and I need to instantiate this object like this save it copy this and I see I had almost at, my, at one hour so let me just think and say that I am I didn't have a full software architecture of my project at the beginning I make it in some sort of iterating steps and I creating now it need uh, it need to uh, why it did not create it I need a, a package hello new package package already exist strange did I did I didn't refresh it ah my I know I know the problem is my clips don't show the the, the I need to set up my clips that he can show empty packages here yeah. validators and now I need to create validator data not now no I need to to have a class with the name of validate sad data and let me just here create new class class validate sad data actually this is a class and now I just need to have an import validate sad data did I ah I did forgot to write new new validate new and this is a util object maybe I should I should I should put it to my util utils yeah didn't like the idea so let me just quickly refactor it package utils point validators now I just need to put class here okay and this is actually to delete and this class in I just need to Utils validator, so it should it should it should work. Yeah, it works, and this is actually good. So basically, I will use this class to validate some stuff uh, which I have in my project. And now I just need to be able. So basically, where where I was so. So I have here my class and I mean my method and I need to validate some stuff. So what should I validate? I need to write I need to write a method and I'm actually need to be able where is my test? Model test, test it you validator. Don't know where is add to index, and here I need to just to be able to do following. So I need to write some test public 
public void check if string is not what I need to what I need to check so check if name for book you at TV channel is set set up and now I just need to think about I don't need to create any new projects uh, I mean new uh, methods I need to call I need to create here some mockup value string string so what should I do string expected result check if name for bokeh tv channels is not not set up expected result should be like i don't know unknown did i did they write it right let me just quickly check it Okay, unknown TV channel. This is what I'm actually getting, uh, expecting to get from the method which I call. So my actual result. I need to pass some st input string. Input string. I don't know, like this. And string actual result. I need to call my validate YouTube object. And on this object, I will call the method like validate So basically, If the name, if if I have so I need to do following my method. If if bucket uh, if some channel have a name, in this case it does nothing. But if if the channel have no name, it calls uh, my validator returns back a string. So basically, I have two two values to work with. I will not call it validate. I will. Um, I will name it like check verify verify consistency of TV channel bucket bucket TV channel is a given input string and now I need to make sure that I am getting assert equals and here I just write, I think, let me just, with the third equals, uh, how it goes. Okay, so, yeah, for, forgetting sometimes working with both J unit versions make me forget some stuff. So expected actual result. And now I just write here like I don't know. Let me add some assertions. Uh, checking if name of 
book it channel is set up so what I need to do I'm creating this method in my validates it data here I'm making sure that I'm I have here default string string default name and here I will use the, the, the name of my I will use the same string here like this now I need to validate the data I will actually call it not default but rather result return result name let me just quickly check it so I have almost at one hour so yeah I will write my validator verify consistency of bucket TV channel and now I just need to do following I'm getting my string and I'm checking if the string is empty it should return false so I mean if it, if the string have some contents it returns false and in this case I re assign the value of input string to my result name basically I don't I, don't, I need to write here like input name input name yeah I can use refactors but this should be sufficient so now I have my test now I can run my test and it runs so now now I need to write a test uh, where it fails so that I know that it's working for me check if name for bucket TV channel so here is is set up and I will pick up just the name which I have in my bucket ads mm. BBC world beta so here I have another another case and here I just use input string with the value of BBC World. My expected result, of course, BBC World. And here is not is not set up. Is set up. Yeah. Is set up. So let me just test it. Uh, okay world yeah so all of my cases are I have one case where it, it isn't it is not set up and I'm receiving this value and I have a case where my name of the channel is set up So here it is what I need to, to work with. Now this is not enough. I'm actually uh, starting to think this is going very big. But now I can re reuse the code from this class. From my validate set, set data. And now I just need to, to make sure that I am validate all of, of all of values which I have. Set TV 
set tv bucket add. Now I validated the name. Bucket ID. Bucket ID is unique. And here I have I'm actually need to validate not this class but rather set bucket but bucket okay so set bucket TV channel the transponder ID which is I think this is a unique value yeah it's a unique unique value the same goes to the on it and now let me just think um, Do I need to validate on it? And I don't need it because I need to convert it. But I, okay, so now I need to. Do I need to validate sad bucket TV channel sp sad position? Don't. Okay, so it was pretty simple stuff. And now I can write actually my. Um, my method here. Let me just close in the stuff. Okay, so let me just close it down. I have one failing test, which is a builder. I don't I do need add it to to the index the stuff is added so set TV let me just look it up service ID Service ID is unique. Service service ID is unique actually. Yeah, it does belong to this another class. So not sorry for the the small tidbit. Um, now I just need to be able to write my test. So here I here I have my uh, set TV bucket channel builder test set TV bucket channel builder test set TV channels builder test I I do need this one and then I need to have this test and I need to implement this method so what I actually trying to test I'm trying to test that my bokeh at builder builds me bokeh at set tv bokeh at channel builder Channel. This is a channel builder for the bucket, bucket ads. So he needs to build this test. So I need to get to work it out. So I have here an example. I see it I'm almost at one hour. So I have here an example. Um I actually need to to be able so I have here an example so let me just write it following like 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 following so list 
because I'm creating list of set bucket TV channels and I result list of bucket TV channels now I need to write here like new link at list and then do the right notation add link at least to the class so next uh, next stop now I just need to have some values which I'm reading from the JDOM document simple like that I need to write JDOM set TV list. Wait a second, where I have it? JDOM set TV channel. Okay. Basically, I will write this for loop. Now. And this I will just write here JDOM TV channel Bokeh Bokeh TV channel element element JDOM element Bokeh TV channel here I have let me just copy some values from my setbook TV channel so I know where, where to stop um, let me just put it like here so now it, now I see what type of values I, I need to work with and it works like this I'm I'm taking values from my JDOM uh, JDOM document. I need my um, book adds XML, and here are my values. Let me just copy the, this line so that I know so that I don't need to have to switch many times back and forth. So basically this is what I'm working with. And now I just need to look it up. So okay, now I need to write the stuff following. The first will be this this variable. Let me just think. Okay, so now I need to assign this variable the value from the JDOM document. It's very simple. Get attribute. Get attribute value, on, and then you have your string. And this will be like service ID. I have there some and I will basically do it yeah okay so explicit naming now next value is a channel name okay the channel name is uh, the stuff where where we need to to use our our helping util object and if people who are watching this notifying what I have how I can call how I how I call it this is a valid say data 
then I need to create helper object helper util object new okay now I assign I call all of this to the I need to know with which attribute which is name I need to call it with this name and now I need to to do following reassign this value but it will be written back verify consistency input name is so basically doing doing following it reassigns the value it's re, re, re evaluate what you what you got and this is how I'm making sure that I am uh, having consistent values. Now let's do this like this. And let's follow all the stuff. So now I need to be able to, to work with the transponder ID. Now it's I don't I don't need those values. I can delete it actually. And set set bokey at TV channel transponder ID. I can copy the whole line here. And actually I need to write it the seat. Okay. Yeah, mapping in is not always. Uh, sometimes it is challenging. Is in this all that. So let me just finish this method. I need to copy this line. right here on it and the same goes to the last one but now I have rather here integer so I need to make to make sure that I am parsing integer right Now I just need to call my get attribute get attribute value and this is an integer. And I need to I think it is integer parse int I think. Let me just think. I did wrote. I did written integer wrong. Parse, parse int, and then I have my string. So now, now I can delete this additional line. So and now I. All of those things I can. So let me just think uh, what just happened. Yeah. 
was not so good. Now let me just here I can is it like this? So now I've got this part. Now in in yeah, I need to do things like that. So I need to work with my list. And it expects I have add method. And this add method it expects a new mockyet TV channel. Now I need to write it here like new and then uh, with here I have my channel new and let me just copy over the constructor input now it expects input channel service ID here you go now it expects uh, input channel name here you go uh, input transponder ID next transponder or need and finish it with the transpond input sat position here you go and let me just let me just put it in one line so that I get the confirmation that I'm doing the right stuff so new here here yeah and basically basically I built my list of Boki Ed TV channels. And now it should, uh, when I run my test, let me just close it down. Closing, closing, closing that. I need to run my test. Check if set TV channels list, list can be created. So let me just quickly look at the value of book variable is not list. List. Mm. Let me just assign some value here. New linked list of type of type set book TV channel and then all right so now I, I have some assignment yeah let's just let's just uh, do I need this new let's just first try out without new let me just look it it's test anyway
I'm just thinking about set TV channel Boki at builder. But it returns. Ah, I forgot to write return. Oh, sorry. I got yeah. Maybe I will should take my break. So return, and I need to return my list. <laughs> yeah. Now I now I got it. I think now it should work. And I just need to run my test. Uh, let, let just let just run it. Yay! And I need to to be able to. So let me just think. It's not the right test. Here, here is my test actually. Now let me just run it. Yeah, it works too. I did previously check it wrong test. So let me just write um, a test where I'm getting the output. Basically, it should be it should be be here sys out. And what should I output? Of course, I need output the result, the result list which I'm getting. Now, let's just, I need to run it. And let's do this once again. Let's do the test. And here you go. Here you go. So I need to uh, start book at service ID. So let me just do some quick formatting. But you see, I'm getting through. Now I just need to find my book at channels set TV book at channel builder. No, I need to set Bokeh TV channel. Here. Close it. Close it. Now I can run my test. Now I can run my test. Now, yeah, now now it it looks cool. So so this is what I have in my list of Bucky ads Deutsche. We just can quickly compare it that you can clearly see that I'm getting through. Here is a, what I'm expecting to see, and this is my output. Let me just put my console that it is fixed. And let's just compare it. So, das erste, Wait a second, where, where I have it? Ah, so it is, let me just, let me just found in my bucket. And, um, yeah, I need, I did pick it, I did pick wrong list. Well, this is rather long session once again. I see it almost almost one hour and 90 minutes so I will close it down my my all of my stuff let me just so yeah now you see das erste six DCA is a service ID 
this a transponder id maybe i can put it in pr perspective let me just maybe i can yeah so you can clearly see transponder id 044d on it 001 6dca a set 192 so basically you clearly see that i have correct values and all of the stuff is working RTL2 let actually check like Vox what is his parameters of Vox Vox has value 2F1C this is Vox Vox here is a line 21F 2F1C and subbucket which transponder ID 0441 only zero zero one and one hundred and ninety two. So yeah, I did go through. It was some work, but it was quite fun I must I must say. And I hope you learned some stuff and I hope you continue to watch my series. I getting sometimes I'm not doing this like one day after one day, but I'm doing when I have at free time I currently currently I spend it much time on my client related projects but I like to work on my projects too as a freelancer this is a freedom which I am which I happy to use and happy to show the world that it is possible to write test test driven projects and let before I close uh, stop recording let just run all of my tests let just run all of my tests Build success, 90 test. Wow, 90 unit tests. <laughs> uh, so here, this test I should set TV channel test. Uh, set TV channel test. Now I close it here. Uncomment the outputter. Yeah, disabled. Disabled. right here disabled and i don't need the output from my last test set tv channels builder test yeah, bucket 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 yeah maybe the naming of the class wasn't so 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 good but i'm actually happy with the result so now i can create my my builder uh, works let me just show you so now i'm finished with this with this class i'm finished and the next move is uh, is to build and test a builder for my bucket book you at so what it will actually create it will create many bucket and it it will pack them to the set so basically it goes like this and this builder object will create a set and it will return it back to the model which actually calls my builder and this builder calls actually 
all of all all of all the stuff. But uh, let me finally conclude. All, all all of things are working pretty well. My tests are passing, and I'm basically thinking about to refactor some stuff. Basically, I will uh, I when I work with my bucket model. I have here my set bucket TV channel and set bucket set TV bucket. Yeah, I will throughout uh, throughout this class prob probably will refactor some stuff maybe. Uh, Like for example, I will reuse um, here. So let me just run my test, and this will be sufficient. Of course, my code can be and must be refactored each time when I do my work. And always keep your code clean, and make sure that you passing all of all of your tests. Make sure that you able to see. Each time when you write your code, an improvement, not uh, not the uh, another stuff of the quality. But <coughs> here you here is a proof that I'm passing all of my tests and 90 90 test runs. Yeah, but this is what I'm actually happy about to see. I have only four skipper tests. This is tests only for output. Uh, of the stuff, but yeah, it works. It finally works. Hell yeah. So thank you and until then. Bye bye.